Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today we're looking at Bo Bichette. He has come up to the big leagues and done really, really well, making it look really easy. And uh, got a lot of questions about his two-strike approach. A lot of people have been talking about how drastically his swing changes from zero and one strikes to two strikes. And so we're going to look at it here. Uh, we have on the left here is a non-two-strike swing, and then on the right is a two-strike swing. All right, so I kind of have them synced up here, but let's kind of look at the left swing first. And you can see, you know, one thing that he does really well is he's not a, a really big guy, but he uses his body super well. And so he gets every little bit out of his body to allow him to really be able to drive the ball. Right, I love his swing. And again, he's got you know he's got kind of big moves. He's got a big leg kick here. He's got a decently big stride. It's a beautiful, beautiful swing. All right, and so there's his no strike and one strike swing. Now we go over to the right, and look at how different this swing is over here. Let me back it up a little bit. All right, so he starts kind of up on his toe and all he's going to do is he's going to put his foot down super early like really early maybe earlier than almost anyone I've seen at the big league level he just puts it there and now he essentially just no strides right so he just starts to coil up here starts to pull back and he's going to hit from there that's all it is so it's very, very simple. As much movement as he has going on over here in his no strike and one strike swing, he has almost nothing going on in his two strike swing. Right now, he's still do like I said, he's still coiling, still pulling back, still getting loaded, but it is much, much different. Right? It's like it's completely different. It couldn't be any any different. <laughs> and so I want to talk about a couple of things. Because I've gotten a bunch of different questions when it comes to this subject of two strikes. Now, the first thing is, um, I do think that you need to have a two strike approach, right? And so it shouldn't just be, I take the exact same approach on no strikes and one strike and two strikes, okay? And so we've talked in the past about two strike approaches, and you know, without getting too much in detail, you can go check out our other videos, but. Typically with two strikes, we talk to our guys. Again, it depends a little bit on who you're facing and the type of hitter you are. But, you know, we don't believe in two strike hitting, you know, just, uh, you know, just choking way up and spreading way out and just trying to play pepper with the second baseman. Um, I do think that you can make physical changes if you want. Some hitters do feel a little bit better spreading out. Some hitters do feel a little bit better choking up. There's guys in the big leagues that do that, okay? You've got guys like Rizzo and like... Uh, Votto, Rizzo really with two strikes, you know, will choke up a lot, right? And so you have guys that make physical changes. You've got Bichette here that puts his foot down much earlier, right? So he kind of spreads out, puts his foot down. So you can do that. You don't have to do that in my opinion, but you can. A lot of the approach for me comes from the mental side of things. And we talk about, again, we talk about trying to drive a fastball. If you're a right-handed hitter, I'm trying to drive a fastball through the second baseman. Right? And then that allows me to then be able to hit a curveball or an off-speed pitch. I'll be able to pull it. Right? And so drive the fastball the hard, or the whatever his hardest pitch is. I'm trying to drive that to right center field as a righty. And that way if he throws me something slow, I'll be able to pull it. If you think about pulling the fastball with two strikes, well, then it's almost impossible to hit anything else. Right? If it's anything slower, your bat's going to be gone and you're not going to be able to stay on the ball, okay? So, again, in, in the simplest terms possible, that's the approach mentally we have, all right? Now, when it comes to physical changes, like I said, I don't think you have to do anything physical, but I do think that you can try some things and see if it works. Obviously, here, Bo Bichette has been a really successful player, right? 
He's done well his whole life. He's really yet to really fail. This is something, I don't know how long he's done it for. Did it in the minor leagues, I know that, I saw it. I'm sure he's done this for a long time. He has found something that has worked. The biggest thing that stands out to me is that he tries to have a two-strike approach. Now, I'm sure he does something mentally as well. But he is making an adjustment when he gets to two strikes, okay? So, again, I just want to reiterate that I don't know if you have to. I don't tell any hitter. You have to spread out. You have to choke up. You have to go no stride, you, right? But you can try these things and see if they help you when it comes to two strikes. That would be my advice to you. The other thing that I like is that this is something that he's done maybe his whole life. He's at least done it as a professional. And I'd like to go back to his high school. If you guys know you know, his career as a high school player, if he did this as well. But the thing I like is that he's being himself. right? And so he's not getting to the big leagues and then saying, well, you know, now I'm at the major leagues, and, and I've seen this happen before. Now, you know, that stuff didn't work, and, and I've got to try something different. He's sticking to his plan, and he's being himself. What got him to the big leagues? And that's what I like. I used to hear all the time as a player, like, oh, that stuff worked in the minor leagues, but it's not going to work in the big leagues. Oh, that stuff worked in college, but it's not going to work in the minor leagues. Like that, you know, I, I hear that so many times. Here's a player that's been super successful his whole career. He gets to the big leagues, and he's going to be himself. Do you. And it's working so far. And so hopefully he sticks with that. He's a super talented player. He's obviously worked really hard to get here. And I like the fact that he's not going to start changing things all of a sudden because he's gotten to the highest level. Um, and so those are my two main thoughts on it. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Let me know what you think about his two-strike approach. If you like it, if you don't like it, let me know what you do for a two-strike approach. Do you change something physically? Do you spread out? Do you choke up? Do you get your foot down at a different time? Do you change your stride? Or do you just have the same swing, you just change your approach? Or maybe you don't do anything. Let me know in the, about that in the comment section below as well. That's all we got. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And we'll talk to you later.